I've seen the questions, and I've seen that y'all wanted to see how I display my Funko Pops. Well, today's a video for that. Let's go. What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here. We are back with another Funko Pop video. And this video is basically how I display my Funko Pops right here. Now these shows that we got right here are called Display Geeks. I do have an affiliate link in my description down below. It doesn't cost you no charge to go through that affiliate link, but it does help the channel out if you do go through that link and you buy something. But besides all that, that was a shameless plug right there. But these shows right here are called Display Geeks. And what these things do exactly is basically they hold your pop-up. I think that they are the best way to actually display your Funko Pop if you are an inbox collector like me. I also use a certain pop protector called Vaulted Vinyl, which I think, honestly, for what you get for the money's worth, it's probably the best protector on the market. Not the best economically, because it do cost a little pretty penny, but it does get the job done, and I think that it makes all the pops look fantastic on this shelf right here. But before we get into the video, before I get into the topic of the video, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges for going ahead and financially holding it down on Patreon over there. I gotta say, I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me, and you know I love y'all. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Notification Squad for hitting that bell like I always say at the beginning of the video, and you know, just showing up when the video comes out. So, you know guys, I love you. Thirdly, if you are new to the channel, you haven't already, Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you like anime content, Funko Pop content, anime merch content, and manga content. Trust me, you'll love the channel. And lastly, if you haven't followed me on my other social media accounts already, go ahead, link it in the description down below. Also in the description is my Patreon and my Teespring link where I have some dope merch. All my links will be in the description down below. So, let's get into it. So I've been asked plenty of times, how do I display my pops and what protectors do I use on my pops, which I actually do have a review of the Vault of Vinyl protectors on this channel. Go ahead, click the link where it is. I don't know what orientation I'm at right now, but go ahead, check out the Vaulted Vinyl Pop Protector review because they haven't changed since I've been buying them. So I think the review, it does a pretty good job, but I might do a little updated review just to see my thoughts after basically a year of using them. But right here, guys, is the Display Geek shows right here. And like I said, these things are fantastic. You gotta go to Display Geek. Right here, this is obviously a shelf right here that holds 12 pops. Right here, it's three rows of four right here. So one, two, three, four, then one, two, three. This right here is super dope. I gotta say that it is the best way to display my Funko Pops because obviously they go right into the wall. Like you can either use them little strong strips that uh attach to the wall, you know the little things that you put your posters on, or you could do what I did, <laughs> and if you don't care about your security deposit, which I know how to get a hack around that as well, you can actually drill nails into the wall and actually drill this into the wall. Not like drills in like super heavy duty, just get a nail or get a power screwdriver like I did. I'm not advising you to do this. Obviously, ask your apartment complex or ask your parents if you're not of age. What I did is basically I took a nail, I screwed it in there, and obviously it stays in place. There's no like typical weight where it's like super like weighing down where it's gonna like rip off. I never had that problem or I never had that worry of it coming down. It doesn't slam or anything like that. So like I said, this way right here is a great way to display your Funko Pops. Also, it just makes it look so organized because obviously you can organize it however you want and I can easily take a Funko Pop out of it just like this and I can just show you guys like that. So I think it's one of the better ways and it looks less cluttered because obviously it's not like a bookshelf where you're cramming for room, you gotta put things sideways. No, this is literally built for Funko Pops. The guy that made this literally made this Funko Pops for inbox. There are also out of box displays as well, but obviously I'm not an out of box collector, but if you do wanna check out the website, like I said, affiliate link in the description down below. Also guys, I'm just saying right now, I'm not sponsored, <laughs> but I know a lot of people wanna know how I display my Funko Pops and what I actually use for the protectors. And I just wanna give you guys advice on how you can do it. Cause I see a lot of people and I used to do this myself, stack them on the ground and no 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 we do not stack funko pops on the ground guys you already know the saying on the channel quality over quantity to have a quality collection you gotta also have a looking quality as well and look you can't have the funko pops on the ground you gotta have them on some type of shelving unit you obviously see them on my six collection i have them on my bookcase right here that's right next to the funko pops but when it comes to my regular Funko Pops, you know I gotta display them somehow in some way. Now, I used to have them on the shelf and they used to just stack, but honestly, I'm not really too sure with stacking, but with the vaulted vinyl protectors, you actually can stack the pops on top of each other because the actual pop protector, the lid, the, one, the top of it, you can actually put other pops on top of it and it lays flat, which I think is a great thing. Also guys, these little shelves right here are definitely not hard to assemble. They do have bundle packages on his website, but these things are not hard to assemble at all. I think that they're a great thing. And the owner of Display Geek also has on his YouTube channel how to assemble the box right here. And honestly, if you guys mess it up, 
you're either not listening, you're not paying attention, I don't know what you're doing, but please just pay attention to the tutorial when you do want to assemble this bad boy right here. Now it's actually time to talk about the Funko Pop protector that I use on all my Funko Pops, and it is vaulted vinyl. And right here, this is a point. 50 millimeter thick Funko Pop protector. It's scratch resistant, it's UV resistant. So guys, honestly, I had to do what I had to do and I had to cop these bad boys. And the top legs flat as well. You can stack other pops on it. And you have no worry of them toppling over and things like that. Cause I know some pop protectors, I'm not gonna call out any names, but they do have that little bow on top. And if you put a pop on top, it starts wiggling around like this, like it's starting to balance itself. Nah, 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 nah. You ain't gotta worry about that with VV. My boys VV got it over there on deck right there. And guys, I don't know, cause they usually go out of stock. So if you do want some vaulted vinyl protectors you definitely gonna have to look for that emo reminder because i know i need to re-up on some but your boy ain't got the dough right now like i said earlier they are a pretty penny and they're a little more expensive but i think that they're worth it especially since it's scratch resistant and guys like i said quality over quantity imagine all the times you went across your pop protector like this and you just did all that and you know that just scratches your pop up no 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 they don't scratch the vv up they don't scratch it up <laughs> i love that fact that they don't scratch it up and it's uv resistant because guys if you don't know obviously you shouldn't have your pops in direct sunlight because they'll either fade the box or just or just deteriorate the box itself with vv it honestly blocks all the uv from the sun and i gotta say that this is a great way to protect my pops if i haven't said this before guys i'm gonna say it now obviously when you are buying Funko pops they're basically an investment because later on down the line you never know what situation you're gonna get into in life and you might have to sell off a couple and you obviously want to have your pops in the most pristine condition when you are selling them so that way you get the most worth for them and guys honestly if i saw a lot of these pops right here I'm probably gonna get the value or over the value of how much they're worth on the secondary market because right here, all my pops, Christine, except for the ones I obviously bought bad condition, like like maybe my travel car law or something like that. But that's a grail. It's still gonna sell over for hundred dollars. But guys, that's basically how I display my pops, what pop protectors I use, and just let me know if you actually like these type of videos right here. I do like giving you guys some information, some knowledge on how I actually display my collection for Funko Pops. And guys, that's about it for the video. If you do like the video, go ahead comment that down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you do like the content. That way, I know you're liking this type of content, and I do more content like this. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell and like i say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace